like you can walk up to a painting and look at it and you move on to the next painting. That's usually how things go. And I started doing these long text pieces and it demands the viewer's attention and time. When I went into grad school, I was pretty much a painter's painter, very, uh, very much oil on canvas, very wrapped up in that romanticism of paint. I got to the point where I really wasn't happy with the way the paintings were working or they weren't really saying what I wanted them to. So uh, I kind of reshuffled everything and I started looking through my sketchbooks. And uh, at the time I had been drawing in like college ruled lined notebook, uh, notebooks basically. I was like, oh, these actually capture that energy and essence of what I, you know, what I wanted to capture. Um, so somehow there was a transition from painting into these large scale drawings. And there were some really bad drawings in between that stage, those two stages, but we won't talk about those and those don't exist anymore. So. When I was still painting, I was completely anti-text in my work. Uh, I thought if the picture couldn't say what I wanted it to, then, um, then the, that piece was a failure and text should never be used. So I was pretty stubborn, but I think naive at the same time. My, my mind really wasn't opened for a long time because I wanted something that was more relatable, like anyone can walk up to a piece and read it and kind of get at least the gist of what I'm trying to do. Uh, whereas a painting can be a little bit more mysterious to like the everyday person on the street. Um, we all write, we all, we all doodle, um, so that's very relatable and understandable to a larger audience. Painting is still kind of seen as something maybe not for everybody, if that makes sense. The first show that I did with pure text, um, like people would stand in front of the piece and read it from start to finish and spend a lot of time with it. And that was really fascinating to me because I mean, I'm guilty of that too, going into a show or an exhibition and just kind of looking and then moving on, looking and moving on.